Hi guys, how's everybody doing? And welcome to tonight's clearing and cleansing session with EFT. So if you're around, come in and let me know that you're joining me. If you're watching on the replay, you are equally as welcome. So we've loads of new members in the group, which is amazing. So um, welcome, welcome. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Yvonne. I'm an EFT practitioner and a personal development coach. And I help women who struggle with confidence to believe in themselves again. And one of the ways, or a few of the ways I do that is with EFT. So I have three areas of speciality. And um, the first one is emotional healing, hence why we're doing this session here tonight. The other is body confidence and weight loss issues. And the third one is online business coaching. So if you're a business that's trying to get online, I'm your woman. <laughs> So they're my three areas of expertise. So let me know if you're joining me. I can't see any comments yet. So I'm just going to pull it up here and see what I can see. Any comments? Okay, so there I am live. Thank God I'm in the right place anyway. <laughs> okay, great. Hiya, Karen. How are you doing? Thank you for joining me. Hey, Bridget. Hello, Sharon Dempsey. How is the crack? Okay, good. And Sylvia's here, great. Good, so there's a good few coming on. Okay, so we'll give it a few minutes before we start because I want to make sure everybody's here. Um, and just, yeah, so I'll start explaining about EFT. So if you're new to EFT, EFT is like acupuncture without the needles. Okay, so basically, hi Nikki. <laughs> so basically what we do is we tap on acupressure points and behind the acupressure point is a meridian which the best way I can describe a meridian is like your energetic veins. So we have our veins that we have blood in. So the meridians are like your energetic veins. So it's energy that goes all around your body. They carry your energy around your body. Um, so when we tap on them, what it does is it sends a positive vibration through that meridian and back to the back of the brain. Um, where all our emotional memories are stored in our amygdala. And what that does is it reduces the stress response. So if you ever find yourself in a fight, flight or freeze response, then this is why we do this, because it reduces that. It helps you to regulate your emotions. It's really, really good. Sometimes you're emotional and you don't know why. Um, and if you tap, it's really, really good. Hi, Sharon. If you tap, it's really, really good, because what it does is it'll bring up It'll help you to understand and it will help you to release whatever it is that's annoying you. Okay, so as I go through the points, you'll understand. I'm going to talk about each point. We're going to tap through each point, okay, tonight. And I'm, as we do that, I'm going to explain what each point means, okay? So you get a better insight to what it is, but you'll also get a clearing and cleansing at the same time. Okay, it's a lovely session. I did it with my Ignite Your Inner Solis last week and it just cleared the gook. So if you feel, and especially after the lockdown that we've had, we've had such a long time where we've been restricted for so long. And there's a lot of stuff happened in the lockdown. There was a lot of, we had to, we had to adapt to an awful lot of things that we wouldn't usually have to adapt to. Hey, Olivia. And um, that, the residue of that is still sitting there. We haven't shifted it. We haven't moved it. And EFT will help us to do that. So I did that session with the girls last week and it was fabulous. They were all so chilled, they could hardly talk after it. So it was amazing. We got rid of all the gunk, it's like press and reset and starting again. So it's really, really good. So I hope you'll enjoy it. If anybody has any questions as we're going along, let me know. What I do want you to know is when we tap, you can feel emotional, you can yawn like mad, okay? And that's considered a release because when you yawn, your body is searching for an energy release. It's trying to let go of stuff. And EFT can create that. So in the morning sessions in particular, when we're starting our day in Ignite Your Inner Soul, we have a session every morning where we do 30 minutes. We tap, we breathe, we do meditation, we do a little bit of journaling. And what we do is you see all the release and at the end we're like, oh, and it's the one place where we won't, where I won't get annoyed with people for, you won't get into trouble for you on them. <laughs> we encourage it, it's all good. Okay, 
and we have fun with it too. So you might feel emotional. If this is your first time doing it, you might feel emotional. You might feel like you want to yawn a lot. You might get itchy. You know, you might get an itchy sensation. Just know that it's all normal and it's a release. Okay, some people might feel nauseous. That's okay too. If you feel nauseous, just take a drink of water. It will pass, okay? Um, again, it's your body just adjusting to something new. So not it's not to be afraid of it. It's an amazing tool that you can use anytime you want um, in any situation. I have used it in loads of situations and all my Ignite Your Solis, it's their toolkit that they have in the back of their pocket. If they pull it out, whip it out when they need it. So it's really, really good. Okay. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to get started. Okay, so if there's anybody you think would enjoy this session and you know they're in the group, tag them. That would be amazing because they mightn't just get the notification. So if you know anybody that you think would enjoy this and is in the group, then tag them um, so that they'll see the notification. They'll get the notification and they can come on in. Okay, so let's get going. So you can hear in the background, I have music to just complement the release. So this is the music that we play every morning as well when we're doing tapping and breathing. So it's, uh, yeah, it's my EFT tune. Okay. So let's get started. So I'm going to talk you through the points and just follow me. Okay. So, um, and just know that any, you know, any issue that's, that um, if we're tapping on a point and it's sore, don't worry about it. What happens there is that means that there's something about to release that wants to come out. So particularly the spot that's under your arm, a lot of women can be sore there or on your on your collarbones, but we'll, we'll try it as we go along, okay? Now you're tagging people. Thanks guys, good. Okay, hopefully they'll see it and they'll come on in. Okay, so we are going to, so we are gonna start with the sore points are the collarbones they're called, okay? So your collarbone is here. Find your collarbone and go down in about an inch and just gently rub, okay? This is the kidney meridian. So when we, I'm rubbing on it, but we tap on it usually. So when we tap on that, right, it releases the feeling of being stuck, okay? Um, and it can also help with um, indecisions, worry, or general stress. Okay, so it's a really good point. And you might have found yourself in the past doing this if you're worried. I often see people, if they're bothered, they do this. That's because we have meridians all around here and your body instinctively knows how to soothe itself. It's just you might be aware of what that is. Okay, so that's that point. Okay, so we're going to take a deep breath in and breathe out. And as you breathe out, just release and let go whatever it is that's annoying you just release and let go let it all out now we're going to move to the start of the eyebrows so just here so gently tapping on the eyebrows okay and what that does is when we tap on the eyebrows and you can do that with two hands or one hand so that releases trauma, hurt, or sadness. Okay, so when we release that, it balances. What that allows in is peace and emotional healing. Okay, take a deep breath in and breathe out. And as you breathe out, just focus on releasing and letting go side of the eye so side of the eye okay so the outside of the eyes this is the gallbladder meridian okay and this helps to release resentment and anger so if you have a fear of change or if you've modeled thinking when you balance this by tapping on it what it allows in is clarity and compassion okay so take a deep breath in and breathe out. I'm going to move to under the eyes, so directly under your pupil. Okay. So 
So under the eye, this is the stomach meridian. So if you find yourself getting anxious, okay, or if you have a fear, I had a fear of dogs. I still have a little bit, it's not as bad as it used to be. So this, when you allow, when you tap on this, it releases fear and anxiety. Okay, it can also, if you're feeling nauseous, it can relieve that. It can also help with cravings, disappointment. So when we balance this, what it does is it allows in contentment, calmness, and the feeling of feeling safe. Okay. And all of these points can be tapped on individually, um, but we usually tap them in a round. But you can just tap on one particular point if you know that something's annoying you or if you're feeling anxious. It's a good one for anxiety. Under the nose. So this, this point releases shame and powerlessness. Okay, so if you're embarrassed, this is a good point to tap on. Or if you're, if you have a fear of being ridiculed or a fear of failure, this is a really good one. And when you tap on this meridian, what it does is it balances and allows in self-acceptance, um, self-empowerment, compassion for yourself and for others. It's a really good balancing point. So on this point, we're going to take a gentle deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, so we're going to move to the chin. This is the central meridian. So when you tap on this point, it releases confusion and uncertainty. So it can also relieve shame and embarrassment. So when you balance this point, what it does is it allows in clarity, certainty, confidence and self-acceptance. So we would usually now go to the collar points, collarbone points, but we've done that. So we're going to move to under the arm. So under the arm is the spleen meridian. So ladies, about three inches down from your bra strap, if you wear one. So look for a sore point there. And if it's sore, <laughs> this point is associated with guilt, worry and obsessive thinking. So poor if you've poor self-esteem or if you're insecure, chances are this point is very, very sore. When you balance this point, just keep tapping. When you balance this point, it allows in clarity, confidence, relaxation and compassion. Okay, now we're going to move to the rib point. So I want you to find your ribs. <laughs> we great crack with this last week. We were searching for a while, <laughs> myself included. So this represents the liver meridian. Okay, so if you can find the point, a tender point down by your ribs. <laughs> Seeing the hearts go up. <laughs> so this releases anger and um, other primitive emotions. So unhappiness, complaining, bitterness. Do you know when we go into survival mode? That's what I mean by primitive emotions. So survival mode is built into us. So it helps to release that. Okay. So tap on that. And now we're going to move to the correct chap. Okay. And when I finish going around these, we'll do all the points and I'll explain what they are. And then we'll do cleansing and clearing. OK, so we're clearing and cleansing our cleansing and clearing as we're going anyway. But just we'll do it with more intent. I just want you to understand what we're tapping. OK, so small. this represents a small intestine. So again, this is the feeling of feeling stuck. It releases the feeling of feeling stuck. So if you have trouble in letting go of stuff, OK, um, or being vulnerable or um if you're a worrier this is a great point okay to tap on this point when you balance this point it eases in moving forward letting go healing from grief um and a, and an ability to be happy in the present moment okay so usually when we start on this point we talk about 
what's going on for us right now. So we might say something like, even though I'm feeling really anxious right now, if you've suffered from anxiety, I acknowledge that that's how I feel and I'm okay. Your body needs that reassurance. It needs to hear that because when you acknowledge that you're feeling anxious, what it does is it releases it and it lets it go. Whereas sometimes we fight it and that keeps us stuck. That keeps us stuck in a state of anxiety because we think we need it. I, I had somebody say to me one time, they need their anxiety because their anxiety keeps them safe, which isn't true. That's a limiting belief. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to move to the finger points. Okay, so the finger points are great crack. <laughs> so stick out your thumb and then the nail bed here, just tap on that point. Okay, so this is the lung meridian. This point releases negative thinking, judgment, self-righteousness, and it can also be associated with grief and loss as well. So when you balance this, what it does is it allows in acceptance of yourself and others healing from loss an ability to see and feel the positives in life and in yourself so it's a great point okay so index finger so this is your large intestine meridian this meridian so when we tap on this um it releases difficulty in forgiving yourself and letting go of past hurts so if you have guilt about something, again, grief is in there. Or if you have dogmatic thinking, if your thinking is very dogmatic, this is a great point to kind of help you release that. So when we balance this point, what happens is we allow in self-forgiveness, releasing the past, being more joyful and peaceful in the present. Because that's all, we, that's all we've got. All we've got is the present moment right here, right now. Okay, so now moving on to the middle finger. So, middle finger. <laughs> and this is the circulation and sex meridian. So when we tap on this point, we release anger and sexuality issues. Okay, so if you're somebody who's jealous or if you're stubborn or if you regret things, this is a great point to tap on that. When you tap on it, it balances and allows in the ability to bond with somebody, um, relaxation around that, generosity, acceptance of self and others, and trust. Trust is a huge thing for a lot of us. So this is a great point for trust. That's why we do the gesture when somebody hurts us, because it's like, okay, I'll show you. <laughs> And we're going to move to the pinky. So they skip the ring finger for some reason. Um, okay, so the pinky is your heart meridian. So when you tap on this heart meridian, this releases overexcitement and overachievement. So if you get agitated about stuff and it's like, we call it pissy anger, but like it's overexcitement and it's over um, achievement, but you get irritated maybe. This, when you tap on this point, it allows in, balances in. It balances and allows in unconditional love, forgiveness, compassion, and self-care. Okay. And now we're gonna to move to the gamma point. So the gamma point, and we're nearly there, and then we're gonna do a round of cleansing and clearing. So the gamma point is between your pinky and your ring finger knuckle. Right, there's a, there's a space in there. Wait, let me choose my hand. There's a space in there. If you tap on it, you'll feel it. Okay, it can be quite tender. So this is called the triple warmer meridian. And this releases looping thinking, obsessing and worrying. Okay, so it can also be associated with relieving depression, despair, grief, hopelessness, despondency, loneliness, all those kind of words. Um, so if you tap on that, it's great for trauma. If you're if you're if you've experienced a trauma, this is a great point. So when you balance this, it allows in hope, calm mind, clarity, and connecting with positive possibilities. Okay. So and the top of the head 
So, the top of the head, okay? So this opens up the crown chakra. When you, if anybody's into chakras, when you tap on the top of the head, this is, th there isn't one point in particular with this, right? The head has loads of meridian points. You can tap anywhere in the head, um, especially on spots that feel tender, nice and gently. You don't have to go too hard. So, and this opens up the chakra, the crown chakra. Um, it reconnects your spiritual, it reconnects you spiritually and it anchors in any new balance and alignment. Okay. So any new beliefs, it'll balance in that. Okay, and then the thymus point. Okay, so the thymus point is here. It's like your breastbone. Okay, so this point here, and this is the seat of the immune system. So anybody who is experienced health issues, this is a great point. It balances, it activates and balances the immune system. So this is a great point to tap on daily to keep your physical health in tune. And again, tapping this point at the end of a round, it anchors in any in the new balance and alignment throughout your body. So that and the head, they're great points to finish on. Now we should point out that if you tap on the head, just be aware if you suffer from high blood pressure, it's not a point that's recommended. It won't increase your blood pressure. It's just not a point that's recommended if you suffer from high blood pressure. So avoid, just don't do it. Tap either in the thym and the thymus or you can just tap in the collarbones. Okay, so I'm gonna stop for a minute. I'm gonna check in with you to see have I lost you? Are you bored? There's still loads of people here. So just check in, just let me know how you're feeling um, and if all that makes sense. Okay, or give me a give me a thumbs up and hearts if you're with me. <laughs> and then we're going to do the round of cleansing and clearing. So I want you to put into the comments. How are you feeling right now? So on a scale of one to ten, one being not good, ten being amazing. I want you to let me know how you're feeling. So let's just get a starting point. All good. Thanks. Good. Let's just get a starting point of where you're feeling right here, right now. So now we've just tapped an awful lot. So you might have, if you were feeling frustrated or if you were feeling anything at the beginning, it might have reduced and that's okay. And let me know if that is the case. Or you might have an issue that's driving you mad. And when you think about it, tune into it, your number goes up to a 10. So just come in and let me know. Give me a number in the comments. And there's a delay, so I'll just. Okay, just made it. Thanks, Nikki, for a reminder. I'm a four, bullying after my appointment today. Pure frustrated. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll get that. So when you say a four, so your four is, so you're completely frustrated. So think you're probably higher than a four. So. Okay, anyway, it doesn't matter whatever, you're bullying, so you're angry, that's okay. So let's get that down, let's get that frustration down. Great to get a bit of knowledge behind it. Good, I'm glad you enjoyed it, uh, Nikki. Loving it, breathing and releasing, yawning loads, about a seven. Okay, cool. Thank you, Vaughn, it was eight down to a six. Okay, great. I missed this. That's okay, Una, that's okay. You can come in now and join us because I was just explaining the points, but I'm going to do a tapping around now of tapping and clearing and cleansing. So don't go anywhere, stay. You haven't missed anything. So Nikki's a six, Karen's a five. So just, Una, let me know on a scale of zero, of one to 10, one being um, nothing, 10 being terrible. One being you're good, ter 10 being you're terrible, of how you're feeling right now. Okay, ah yeah, 9.5, I was thinking that, Tara. <laughs> okay, yep, anger. Great to know more, missed your lives, yawning, starting five. Okay, great, Anna. Okay, good stuff, thank you. So Sharon, you're down to a four. That's okay, good, good, good. Okay, so now let's clear stuff, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to tune into something like we said, what well, that was, whatever it was that, that's annoying you. And let's move that down, right? 
So we are going to start by tapping on the eyebrows, okay? Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna massage the collarbone first, okay? And we are just going to, you can repeat after me, either in your head or out loud. I deeply accept myself, even though sometimes my energy system and my emotions are out of balance. I'm gonna take a deep breath in and breathe out. We'll do it one more time for good measure. I deeply accept myself, even though sometimes my energy system and my emotions are out of balance. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Release and let go. Okay, so now we're going to move to the eyebrows. Okay, so releasing. So when, when we tap on this point, what we're doing is we are releasing sadness, hurt. So you just say, I release sadness, hurt, and old traumas. And allow in peace and emotional healing. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Release and let go. Side of the eye. I release anger and resentment and allow in clarity and compassion. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Under the eye, I release fear and anxiety and allow in contentment and safety. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Under the nose. I release shame and powerlessness and allow in self acceptance and empowerment. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Under the mouth, I release confusion and uncertainty and allow in clarity and certainty. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Release and let go. Collarbones. I release stress, stuckness, and reversal. And allow in clarity, confidence, and ease in moving forward. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Release and let go. So under the arm, find that sore point. I release guilt, worry and obsessing. And allow in clarity relaxation and compassion for myself and others. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Release and let go. Okay, and then we're going to go to the karate chop. 
Okay, so we're going to go, sorry, we're going to go to the right crest chat first. That I release feelings of being stressed and stuck. Move to the left karate chop and allow in peace and ease in moving forward. Breath in and breathe out. Release and let go. And now we're going to move to the finger points. So get your thumb ready. So, oh, right thumb, left handed, so I always go for the left one. So, where are we? Thumb. Okay, so I release negative thinking, judgment, and grief. Move to the right thumb and allow in compassion, self acceptance, and healing. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Release and let go. Move into the right index finger. So, I release difficulties and forgiving myself and letting go. Left index finger and allow in self forgiveness and joy in the present moment. Take a deep breath in. Just think about being joyful and present in the present moment. Release and let go. So the right middle finger. I release anger, jealousy, and sexual issues. Left middle finger, and I allow in bonding, relaxation, and trust. Take a deep breath in. Lean into any uncomfortable feelings, and breathe out. Release it, let go. So your right pinky. I release any pissy anger. Left pinky and allow in compassion and unconditional love. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Release and let go. So the right gamut. Okay, so between your pinky and your ring finger, that, that knuckle there. I release looping, thinking, obsessing, and worry. And really, if that's sore. So if you're a looping thinker or if you're a worrier, it would be a looping thinking thinker. Thoughts go round and round and round and round. So that's why that's sore for me and move to the left one and allow in compassion and unconditional love. A positive thinking. So take a deep breath in and breathe out. And just allow calmness in with that one as well. Okay, so moving to the top of the head. So like I said, if you suffer with blood pressure, please do not tap on this point. Just tap on your collarbones instead. So my emotions, my body and all of my energy system are in perfect balance. And then we're going to move to the Thomas point. My emotions, my body, and all of my energy systems are in perfect balance. I'm back to the top of the head again, nice and gentle. 
I'm anchoring in this new balance, alignment and energy flow. Back to the times point. I'm anchoring in new balance, alignment and energy flow. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Just allow that balance to come into your body, lean into it. I've done an awful lot of clearing and cleansing in that round. So just allow the tapping to dissolve into your body very gently. I'm releasing anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Release and let go. So you can gently stop tapping, and close your eyes and just sit with that feeling for a moment. That feeling of feeling balanced, allowing all that healing that you've received from the tapping. Allow it into your body. Notice if there's any part of you that's resistance, resisting allowing it in. Just acknowledge it, release and let go. Now I want you to visualize calling your energy back from all the people and the places that it's been all day. Call your energy back to your heart center. See it flooding back in the form of a beautiful bright light of unconditional love. Feel it flooding back into your heart center. Back to you. Clear, it's all clear. It's been cleansed. And it's filled with pure unconditional love. And I'm going to invite you to take a gentle, deep breath in now. And as you do that, allow that beautiful bright light of unconditional love to fill up your heart right up to the top. Feel your heart expanding with this beautiful bright light of unconditional love that's been cleared and cleansed. And is balanced. And allow that to sit into your body. And as you breathe out, feel that beautiful bright light of unconditional love radiate out to every other part of your body. Out to the tips of your fingers, to the tips of your toes, out to the top of your head, down through your spine, down to the backs of your legs and out through the soles of your feet, sealing that connection with yourself. Feel that balance. Notice how grounded you feel after clearing and cleansing all those toxic emotions out of your body. Release and let go. And then whenever you're ready, very gently and very slowly, bring your awareness back into the room. And gently open your eyes. Okay, and as we usually do after every session, we do a yawn, a big yawn and a big stretch. Shake it off, release and let go. The words of Tyler, uh, what is it? What's the name? Taylor Swift. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Release and let go. Okay, so shake up that energy and shake it off. <sighs> okay, and come into the comments and let me know how you're feeling after that. Did you feel a shift? Um, if what, What's your number now? If you were to rate how you're feeling right now, how would you feel on a scale of one to 10? So one being balanced, 
and serene, 10 being not so balanced and not so serene. So let me know how you're feeling now. <clears throat> this felt so good. Good, see, I'm glad you stayed now. So you didn't miss that then. We were just getting started. Oh yes, while I'm waiting for you to comment, what I should say is drink plenty of water now tonight after this because you will get so dehydrated when you do this type of work, you get very dehydrated. Okay, two, ready for bed, so relaxed. Yay, down to a two now, brilliant. Thank you, lots of release. I'm exhausted, but feeling good. Yes, and so it is. Beautiful, down to a two, fantastic. Wow, I'm tingling from head to toe, buzzing. Yes, I'm at a zero. Thanks, Yvonne, you're very welcome. Good, good, it's amazing stuff. That's why I'm so bloody passionate about it. It's just incredible. Been feeling very blue last few weeks. Thank you very much, feeling very tired. Three, that's okay, that's good, that's good. So you will sleep like a baby tonight, hopefully. Feeling a three, much more released, felt the energy, couldn't get down past my stomach though, felt blocked, that's okay, that's okay. So there's something there, Nikki, that needs to shift. Okay, so what I would say to you is, with the next time you get a chance, you don't have to do it tonight because you've done a lot, unless you feel you need to repeat, go back. This will be on, you'll be able to watch this on replay. So go back and see if you can clear it. And if not, that's okay. Give me a shout, send me a message. Um, thank you very good. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Karen. Flew to the party, but joined in on the tap and release and so definitely gain from that. Uh, good, 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 good. I'm actually down to two or three. I definitely didn't want to hold on to that negative energy. Thinking now of fabulous quality time with Katie today. There you go. See? Good. It's all shifted, which is amazing. Okay, so that's fantastic. Okay, good, 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 good. So I'm glad you feel that. I'm glad you get lots of releases. It's powerful stuff. It's so good. And when you do it on a daily basis, this is part of my self-care tool, and it's just phenomenal. So with that said, I have a fabulous five day program that I am launching tonight. I, actually, it's coming back. It's called Empower Me. And for anybody that wants to join me for five days of intense, an intense program where we shift our shit and get rid of it and come out feeling amazing. I'm going to put the link in the comments so you can have a look, see if it's for you. Um, and it will be starting in the start of September. So you are welcome to come and join. I'd love to have you if you come and join us. Um, it's Empower Me. It is the best program I have ever created. It has changed people's lives. People have gone on and become practitioners as a result of doing that program. It's phenomenal. Um, so if you, and I'm not, you don't have to do it to become a practitioner. I'm just saying that some people got such massive results that they wanted to go on and study it further. So if you feel you're stuck right now, then this could be the program that starts you out, that helps you shift that stuff that's keeping you stuck. Okay. And of course you can always at any time come and join my Ignite Your Inner Soulies where we do this every morning and we do it a couple of times a month. We have live sessions, we do sessions like this and it's amazing. So there's lots of ways to come and work with us and join us. We have the most amazing group, my Ignite Your Inner Soulies. I'm just saying, and the nicest, coolest, most generous, kindest people on this earth. I've never met anything like them. They are phenomenal souls that I'm just privileged to be able to work with every day. Okay, so yes, beautiful people, I love you. Okay, so that option is there if you wanna come and join Empower Me. Five days of amazing work like this. This is just, this is only the tip of the iceberg. The stuff that you can get rid of and this transformation you can get as a result of doing Empower Me is phenomenal. Okay, so you're very welcome. We will be starting the first week in September, but you only have a few days to sign up. Okay, because I need to get it organized. Okay, cool. I always seem to miss the morning ones. Well, the morning ones are in my Ignite Your Inner Soul group. They're not in this group. So that's my monthly membership. Um, so that's where they are, Una. You're welcome to come and join us if you want. We would love to have you. 
Uh, sorry, I'm missing the comments. What comment did I pin? I pinned the wrong comment to pin Tara's comment. Sorry, Tara. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So let me see now. I've missed a couple of comments. Sorry, guys. So, okay. I have to watch the replay. That's okay. No problem. Okay, cool. So, if you enjoyed that, please let me know. If you're watching on the replay, please come in and comment and let me know that you've been here so that I can come in and say hello. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if there's anybody that you think would enjoy this group or enjoy this session, invite them into the group. It's a free group. There's lots of free resources in here. So come in and I'm going to add this to one of the guides. I'll put it into probably guide one. There is a... Um, a session on releasing anxiety in there as well. So if anybody suffers from anxiety, like I do, <laughs> it's crippling, um, go there and there's a free session in there. And I'm gonna add this, but if you want to come and join me and empower me, please come in. The link is there, click on the link, read about it, see if it's for you. It's a five day intensive. It is phenomenal, okay? And with that said, I'm gonna let you back to your evening. So thank you for joining me. And I will see you all again soon. Bye for now. Love you lots. Jelly tops.